alive! For nothing. Funny jokes. <clears throat> Hello, and uh, welcome to Rocks. Yeah, this is a weekly, independently produced cable access television program that we make here in Bloomington, Indiana. Yeah, I'm Jay, and I'm kind of the bartender character. I'm not really a bartender, but I play one on TV. My name is B. I'm the editor of this program. There's another person, though, that I just ha can't wait to introduce you to. He's my roommate, actually, this guy, big hairy guy, Buddhist Russ. Isn't that something? You know why that is, don't you? Why? My, pa my parents are gnomes. I have a pituitary <laughs> problem, but my parents are only about that tall. Look now, I that. knew you had hair on your ears, but yeah. I didn't know. When we said earlier that he was a hairy guy and a Buddhist, well, this is the hairy part. God, did you, did you see that? No, it's, it's a this... sign of virility in many countries. Hairy oh. ears, a sign of virility. My beer is alive. I don't cold filter my beer. I don't triple filter my beer. Uh, I don't even filter my beer at all. My beer, is, a. my beer is alive. You want to eat goldfish on campus? To hell with that. Eat yeast. Did we even explain, by the way, that our friend Russ is actually brewmaster at the first brewery in this county here mm -hmm. in Indiana? Ever. I've lived with Russ for about six months now, um, and uh, oh, it's been kind of over that time that they've been building this brew pub um, that surrounds us now. And you're seeing it in its completed state, but it wasn't completed before they built it, as you may know, um, or kind of be able to figure out intuitively. Anyway, um, I videotaped some of the uh, the building of this this place, the kind of the process in which they got tanked as it were. Oh my God, oh my God. What is this thing? This is the boil kettle. Wow, you know, that thing doesn't look much bigger than your head right now. Well, see, that's the miracle of video. But now look at it. This is Steve. Oh, Steve's gonna be the operator, Hi, huh? Nice to meet you. All right, how are you? Well, like I told him, it depends on how this goes. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a little, it's a bobcat. It's a little pussycat of a, of a forklift. This is not a pussycat of a forklift. This is a, the real uh, thing. The big dog forklift. Yeah. yeah. That's it! This way? No. I don't believe it. It's not gonna happen. It'll roll now. Keep a balance on it. I don't want to stay here any longer than I have to, gentlemen. Let's take her on down. Woo. Okay, we're out of the, we're out of the way. I got it, Joe. Yeah. Set her on down. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my God! There's somebody in there. Talk to him, everybody. He got the pole right here. Over. How's he doing over okay. there? in this moment. Yes! Yeah! Oh. Oh! These are the sutures. See, they, they glued it together. Uh, where, where's the stitches? These are the stitchers. That's what suture means. They don't look like stitches. This is what they use nowadays, the glue and tape. Well, in, in, it's where the muscle splits underneath oh, and allows yuck. the intestine, and in this case, also the inguinal canal, to, to pop out. Uh, actually, I believe my doctor is coming in the door right now. Christy. I'm coming to see if your scar is healing up. Look what you did to me. It's crusting nicely. Can, he right. was in the dollar zone. And that's <laughs> where we do them hernia things, in the dollar zone. We got him coming in, coming out. It's crazy. Now let me look at that one more time. Okay, uh, hold on. Uh, split a gut laughing. <laughs> so these are the perils of, of, of working a job like he has, um, which is brewing 
beer. You know, the most critical part about the uh, brewing process, really, I think, is, is the mash, and that's what makes it so great, great for me, because uh, you can make a real dry beer and you can make a real sweet beer, and that depends uh, primarily on what happens in the mash. Right in there, in the mash tun. Here's the mash. Kind of like the monster mash. Wow, this is like mad scientist shit. Mash time is up to 67, we're all set to go. Gosh, this is almost like NASA. It's all highly complex and very technical. Uh, it's kind of beer. We're making beer. I'm just going for it, I'm making beer today. Oh wow, you just lifted that. I've never seen anything like it in my whole entire life. Let me see if I've got this straight then. The uh, stages of beer brewing. Okay, malting and grinding, uh, the mash, the boil, chilling, and fermentation, and drinking. Who says this isn't an educational program? I've already learned something and, and we're only partway through the show. Yeah. We drink. Uberbach. That's right. Why? It's the, the ultimate beer, Uberbach. The Ubermensch. Oh, I get it. Okay. Uberbach. It's a Nietzsche beer. Yeah, Nietzsche beer. <laughs> I Nietzsche beer. You Nietzsche beer? I reached just had a hard day. I love beer. Beer is good. Oh, beer's good. I found this beer behind my desk. It's beer, it's beer, it's beer. No, oh, beer. I'm drinking your beer, man, because I don't give a fuck about you. Should you not? Have a beer. I mean, suppose you don't drink it and you're tense. Well, you may die sooner than tension. You know. Bought beer because I was excited because I could buy beer, so it was mm -hmm. worth buying beer for my own party because I was buying beer for the first time. Oh, you're hiding I'm, your label too. I'm drinking. Avoid water. brand endorsements, I guess. Exactly. Yeah. I am drinking this green beer. Okay. <laughs> so we have a uh, a letter here sent to us by one of our faithful viewers here, dear J B X Y Jenny and the rest of the Rock's crew. We are Mead Femto Brewers, an alcohol-oriented social group in Bloomington. We once, under the influence of our product, gnawed saltine crackers into the shape of various states. If we weren't in graduate school, we'd be slackers on an almost rocks scale. Okay, so what's our fucking point? Do you want to come over and observe a session of brewing? We promise to give you some beer. We'll have to go check out these guys right now. So we're actually going to go over to these people's house here on East street and uh and and actually have them brew some beer i called them they were excited and so we're gonna do it on location home brewing here in bloomington indiana this could happen anywhere where people have a, a great desire to drink beer hey are we in the right place boys the media is here what does the mead stand for you guys names yeah mark mark He's good out. to meet He's you out. eric welcome to the mead femto brewery you uh, must I'm be andy andy, andy. Hey. Hey, 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 glad to meet no, you. Glad to meet you. I'm Daryl. I'm, Daryl. I'm B. I'm just videotaping. You're B. Wow, look at these big glasses. I can only assume that um, there's big things in store. Come downstairs. Oh, this goodness gracious. Unit. Going into the belly of the beast. The sanctum sanctorum. Yeah, God, you know, if I didn't know any better, I'd think this was illegal. Wow, look at that. But it's a stout. Wow, it is a stout. Beautiful. Wow. Wow, now that is potable um, in the most <laughs> fundamental way. Better than potable, drinkable, even likable. Um, kind of like me in this silly hat. Yes. Ka -ching. Ka -ching. You know what? why I'm wearing this hat, incidentally, is because of my hairdo right now. Wow, that's it's great. Uh, yeah, I it's love it. Some real action going on here. So you guys are all uh, biology? We are Indeed, all biology. Biology. We uh, are graduate wow. students. <laughs> Delaying our entry into the real world as long as we can. So you guys are beer geeks then. Yes. <laughs> beer geek them. We are proud Indeed. to be beer geeks. There's lots of excellent jargon that goes along with beer. Words like wart and sparge and things like that, which are a lot of fun. 
Mm -hmm. That's going to go on. So We're going to go John up on Sparge right now. Yeah. Cool. All right. Isn't John Sparge like the um, a, a, a local rock and roll guy? No, that's John Barge. He's in The Walking Ruins, but we can actually play some of his music now as we go up the stairs. Oh, yeah, because that's kind of appropriate for beer brewing. Yeah. You know, punk rock. <laughs> Professionally done. Uh, it's it's very you know it's strange uh, living your life on television because everybody knows about all the little things like my my bleaching of the hair which this this actually took three tries uh, I had to have it done professionally which I couldn't afford so I had a friend who a professional friend who did it for free yeah. three attempts though and be, through the miracle of editing I can show you all three attempts just like that amazing. This is the mash vessel. Mash wow, oh, the mash, mash. ton. T-U-N. It's smaller than the one they have at the brewery and less Probably shiny. Probably a bit smaller. Yeah. That is grain. Wow. Malted barley. Is that the, the mash? mash? That is the, the mash. mash. I definitely am smelling a smell. I'm smelling it again. It, it smells rich and wholesome. But what is it? It would be the complex sugars the of the barley. It's like... Uh, can like you see that grape nuts, man. Yule yeah, Gibbons would be proud. Enzymes. Enzymes have been breaking down the large complex Five sugars different. from large complex sugars to smaller sugars that yeasts and other, well, basically yeasts can gobble on, well, converting them to alcohol. Other technical scientific jargon. This is the very big pot. Wow. Now yeah. this is water. the sparge water. I think you guys are just making this up as you go along. More sparge and blue thing and blue thing, another thing. mash ton. He's pouring um sparge water from the blue thing the blue into thing. the mash in order to get the wort into the VBP. Yes! Exactly. <laughs> All right. Look at this. Look at this. Ooh, that's apparatus. Look at that. He is measuring. Arcane apparatus. I am measuring things. I am measuring the specific gravity of the word. 1,070. But it won't stay that Good high. God! 1,070! 1,000. Somebody stop 1, it. 1,000 even is water at room temperature. Maybe. But the final beer product will be... What you're drinking now is approaching water. It's about 1.012. Okay, about 12 thousandths over water. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just slightly. Yeah. But when uh, like we that, start that. fermenting, the specific gravity of what the yeast sees in the initial wort is about mm, 40 to 60, depending on the kind of beer you're making. So it drops a good 40 to 50 yeah. points. Mm -hmm. And that drop in density is reflected in increase in alcohol. I'm going to try a segue here. Um, see, our friend Russ has this beer that has some kind of ungodly specific gravity. Um, it's a, uh, a Samuel Adams Special Reserve Triple Bock that he paid like $124 a case for. And, uh, and hopefully I can convince him to, to, uh, to give us a taste of that right now. So. so what we're going to look at now is probably the heaviest beer in the world. Wow. Okay, right. And it's it's way heavy. Now I've set up a, a special hydrometer, a flask here uh -huh. that is it's very technical. It's a plastic tube. We're going to take uh, Sam Adams Triple Bock, mm -hmm. which has a starting gravity wow, of Wow, look at that. 1.160. Mm -hmm. Now, that means nothing unless you realize that the starting gravity of Budweiser is about 1.042. Okay, here we go. We're going to pour this in here. And I'm going to stop about there so we don't overflow too much because mm -hmm. this is so dang expensive. Our gravity is about, you can see here, about 15. In other words, the mm -hmm. alcohol content of this is, oh, I would say someplace in the neighborhood of uh, 17 to 18 percent by volume. Here we have a, a light beer from Miller. Now, it's not called light for nothing, gang. Ooh, look at all that foam. Also, the difference in the, the color of these two beers. Usually, color says nothing, but in this case, it says everything. This looks like something I see almost every morning. Here Do we you drink it, though, when you see it? It depends on what I did the night before. As an Amanita muscaria eater, we pass our urine on. But oh no, it's lighter than water! It's two points lower than water. Let me see what we got there. 0.99. Uh, eight is what I would say it is, and since one is water, this is two tenths of of a uh, of a specific gravity measurement lower than water. Light beer is lighter than water.
Bag o corn sugar. Corn sugar. You do it the oh. It actually tastes good. Oh. Oh, sugar, no Sugar plus yeast <laughs> equals alcohol. So you could go home and take like some sugar in a mayonnaise uh -huh. jar, put some water in it, throw some like Fleischmann's yeast in there, and put mm -hmm. it on your stove. Not boil it, of course, but just mm -hmm. to keep it warm. And you'd have some really horrible tasting alcohol. Oh, mayonnaise flavored liqueur. <laughs> We're not endorsing any activities right. like that. Nor I think uh, is rocks. Hops are in the same family as hemp I marijuana. As matter of fact, it's the only relative to marijuana. Would you like to smell yeah. some hops, B? I would. Here's some snooty hops. Now, does that look? Good like God! It even kind of smells like marijuana. Thing in the 15th and 16th centuries in England, mm -hmm. hops were outlawed by a couple of different kings. Mm -hmm. uh, using the same propaganda and rhetoric that they use today to outlaw marijuana. Wow. <laughs> Rocks. You can almost smell the hops. <laughs> and people who used hops in beer were killed. Uh, it causes dementia and you become immoral and it uh, uh, you know, disintegrates your moral fiber or something like that. You know, in America I could drink turpentine if I wanted to and then I'm just an idiot. Mm -hmm. But if I, I could probably put mayonnaise in my veins and people would think that I was a, a, just a sick, poor person who needed a lot of help. Mm -hmm. But if I happen to smoke a little bit of marijuana, which is just a flower that grows wild, I'm looked at as, uh, a, as being an aggressive, violent person who must be taken out of society. Mm -hmm. That seems pretty silly to me. Now we let this stuff boil. Stuff is another technical term. For wort. An hour. So this is when everything comes together. This is a moment of unification. These people are silly, and um, um, we need to change the battery uh, and the tape at the same time. So um, there's going to be a, a brief pause here. In the meantime, look at this. No, not that. This. Audio artists, uh, uh, comedy guys, funny people, the Fire Sign Theater. Didn't you listen to the Fire Sign Theater when you were younger? That's right, I did. As a matter of fact, you know, when I, when I uh, was growing up in the 60s, uh, uh, it was Bill Cosby. But then in the 71, I got turned on to the Fire Sign Theater, and uh, uh, after that, it was all over. This, the, this uh, Samuel Adams triple stout box stuff, um, is uh, it's it's a really rich, thick beer. You can't see through it, but there's this new stuff called clear beer. <coughs> that uh, well, Zima. Well, we actually had a rare opportunity to taste a Zima with Dave Osman of the Fire Sign Theater. Yeah, it's kind and of you, a celebrity beer tasting, as it were. Except it's not a beer; it's a malt beverage. Yeah, and I guess really nowadays, since they haven't done much in a long time, he's not much of a celebrity anymore. But you asshole. Well, but he's a nice guy, and he had some very interesting things to say about Zima. Zima. Clear. Knock Zima. Clear is the, is the thing of the 90s, right? The clear cola. Would you buy a cola that looked like this, that looked like water? The whole idea behind beer is that it should be, you know, dark, right? Well, has anybody tried any of this? No, no. I'm it's not really beer. It's a, it's a carbonated malt beverage. It tastes like a soft drink. Tastes That's... like water. Is this booze? Yeah, Wait, that is sweet. Yeah. That doesn't taste mm, like a beer at all. That bad. Mm. Yeah. Let's go better with Zima. Training beer. <laughs> Gatorade with teeth. Beer for gals. Mmm. <laughs> Her beer. <laughs> you heard it Isn't hers. And now, all I can say is, uh, if this is the future, <laughs> back to Bach, you know what I mean? <laughs> I can't get this thing out of my mouth, yo! You know, I like beer. I like it a lot. I like it better because it's not green like snot. I like beer. I drink it at home. I drink it in a pool because it's got foam. I like it better than the girls who turn tricks. Yeah, man! Yes! I'm coming in because I've got to sing. And it's about time to do this thing. So let's go and eat some chicken, too. We've got some glue and we've got some shoes. Yes! I get 
get to add the bitters, I'm becoming a part of the process. Well, that's oh, just two, two, at least. One. Oh, God. Two. There. Now. Uh, ow. Don't. Oh, it's hot. One of the dangers. Burns. Danger, Will Robinson. We begin the chilling. Yo, Stay. we're gonna chill. Take we're it chill. easy, homie. Oh, so, no. God, he looks like he's doing some work. I thought yeah. he was gonna chill. Oh, the or, mystical or, 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 union. Oh, my God. Oh, oh cool male, female, male, female. We all know what's going on. This is the wonders of thermodynamics, Incoming. otherwise known as heat exchange. Cold water from the tap comes in here. Where? Comes there. in here. Then it goes through the coil. The coil. All which inside is down the pot. There, which which is down seen, in there. Yes. Then out the other side comes hot water. Look. The, can you see the steam coming off there? We're getting ready to go over to rallies um, because you know um, when you eat. You should also, or when you drink, you should also eat. Right. Or when you yes. eat, you should drink. We're rallying behind rallies because oh. we believe in supporting the uh, national chains. And eating at rallies sort of flies <laughs> in the face of everything that we all stand for, but yeah, God damn we it. can't help it. Get nervous, waiting for service, yeah. Are you taking our movie? Yes, we're making a television show. You're on television right now. What do you have to say to the people of Bloomington? Not much. What about Indianapolis? Yeah. Oh, look, it's a dunce cap. How appropriate. I got my change back in a little paper pouch. It contains 40% recycled fiber. You know, you'd think they could just not give you the pouch at all. But who am I? Have you been on him? Yeah, we have. Good. She doesn't believe doesn't believe that it's actually happening, but she'll know when people come in here and say, hey, I saw you on TV. Hey, they're working, they're working hard, Becca. Half-half, a hamburger, or, I mean, a cobble meal, a cheeseburger, and a small fry. We're professionals. Yeah, yeah professional ones. Yeah. <laughs> Little does she know, but yet we've got our food, and so what the hell, you know? It's ready? It's ready. We need the fritter maker. Fritter boy! Fritter boy. Fritter boy. Where's the other blue thing? And the name comes from, no. well, frittering my time away. Good. Good God almighty. It is proto beer. It's a nutritious word. Mm. You mean it's not quite ready? It's not quite ready. It needs a little yeast. about it. All right, fritter away. Oh, that's a fritter. That's a hop fritter. That is a hop fritter. Wow. Woo. Look at that. My dad used to make grapefruit wine, where he'd take grapefruit juice, add some honey, and then put Fleischmann's yeast into it. And wow. I'll be damned if it didn't ferment and taste pretty good. Don't now tell we... me you're coming downstairs. I'm coming downstairs. Yes. Uh-oh. Well, down. as camera operator, I will have to back up. Down in our temperature-controlled fermenting facility. And in two okay. weeks, yeah. Three weeks, this will be beer. So you're, you're probably wondering, what did these guys do to get on this television show of ours? Uh, you know, did they suck dick? Did they uh, offer us drugs or what? Well, um, we have a, a testimonial from Daryl Hurd himself on just how easy it is to get on this program. Why don't you give us a testimonial about what it, what you feel like uh, it took to really get us over here? Money. It took. Money, photo. honestly. Lots of money. <laughs> well, I don't have lots of money, so it didn't take lots of money. <laughs> it took money and the promise of some of the best beers we've ever brewed, which we have given you, honestly. Mm -hmm. um, and it probably took the fanatic uh, sort of following that I've given you guys over the past few years. He has been messianic and is... Basically, it, is... it, it took money. <laughs> yeah, it took some money. <laughs> um, now, I'm not saying that, uh, that like, sending us money will benefit you in any way. And as a matter of fact, I can't even say that you should send us money. Um, but, you know, people have been known to get us to do the craziest thing, things um, with money. So um, just put that in your pipe and <laughs> smoke it. <laughs> well, well we've, uh, we've had, certainly had plenty of beers here. Yeah, you'll notice that there have been no mixed drinks in this episode. That's because, you know, beer is a drink. Um, which it's almost it, a sacred drink, almost, which it, it seems wrong to profane the beer with mixing. Yeah. yeah. But if you really wanted to, you could do this. I'm going to mix a drink here. Um, this is going to be called a boiler maker. Um, in honor of, of uh, kind of beer, which, which we like, and also in honor of uh, Purdue, Purdue Boilermakers, which is 
this university up in uh, northern Indiana, West Lafayette, you know, blah, 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 blah. Bloomington? Yeah, we're here in Bloomington. Indiana University? Purdue is up in West Lafayette. Purdue University? Indiana University. There's kind of this rivalry. Um, rivalry? That would be a boiler maker, and we don't drink those things here in Bloomington. That's right. Because this is Indiana uh, University uh, territory. Uh, this is Hoosier uh, territory. Uh, yeah, I tell you what, god damn it. Yeah, yeah. yeah fuck them, Purdue. Yeah. Fuck, fuck. Yeah. Does any of this make any sense? I hope so. It's going to be called a boiler maker. Now we have here some extra dry gin, the pe the cheap stuff, McCormick's. This is really inexpensive stuff. The reason that we're using this is because uh, all those people up in uh, in West Lafayette who go to Purdue and University, they're cheapskates, they're shitheads, and that's why whenever they pour gin in a glass, they add beer. Um, which is what we're doing here. Brand beer. unimportant. Brand unimportant. Important. Yeah, just beer is uh, a general thing because, you know, um, people in West Lafayette are known for their undiscerning taste um, and, and general um, obnoxiousness and stupidity. Um. <laughs> It has something to be said for it if you want to get real fucked up. Now wait, I thought the right I thought you were wait. supposed to like put the gin in a shot glass and, and drop it in the beer. Oh, well, I guess I've I've uh demonstrated my Hoosier incompetence. What, what? what if someone from West Lafayette sees this and says, That's not the way you mix a boiler maker? Well, um, then I would challenge them to show me how you actually make it. Um you could just like videotape yourself doing it and uh and send us a copy of the videotape, and we promise, as long as you're like clad in, in acceptable clothing and, and uh, not doing anything um, that, uh, that we deem um, unworthy of television, <laughs> um, we'll put it on our show. <laughs> promise. This is all in fun. Drink. Taste. It. Good. Mm. Yum. I kid you not, it tastes like lima beans. Lima beans? Yeah. I guess I guess my blabbering, stuttering mouth indicates that uh, I've already had too much to drink, and in fact, um, we should probably just kind of take care of everything and, and get rid of me and say goodbye is what I'm trying to say. Leave, go, um, do all those other things that are involved with ending a television program forthrightly well, hey, and let's, forthwith. Let's get one of those really uh, impressive tracking shots for the end credits here. Yeah, yeah. Do I, do I?